Hey guys, it's Bailey here from Crochet with Bay, and welcome to my channel, my first real vlog video. Um, there might be a couple of bumps along the way, but first time for everything. Um, I have my biggest market of the year coming up next weekend, and I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride and let you see what goes on behind the scenes. Um, I am currently very behind in prepping. I just kind of haven't been feeling markets lately. Uh, they haven't been going as well as I've been hoping, um, but nevertheless, we're going to put our all into this one. It was my highest earning market last year. I think I made about $3,800 in one day, and I brought $4,000 in inventory. So this year, I already have $4,000 in inventory left over from my previous markets, so I want to bring at least five. Um, the entire month, I've been saying to myself, I have to sell more things so that I can make, like, I wanted to have more of like a cohesive design set up for this market, but you know what? I didn't sell enough at the last market. So we're just gonna throw everything on the tables and see how it looks. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of little things to make, which is my least favorite thing to make. Uh, I have like axolotls I have to make, leggy frogs. Um, I don't really know what else I'm gonna make. I kind of just do it day by day. Uh, I used to plan out a list of what I wanted to bring and like that's still something I do from time to time but like I used to cohesively like this many of this this many of this this many of this but now I'm just like whatever we're gonna do whatever we feel like crochet whatever we feel like that day and whatever we bring we bring and I feel like that's the mindset that has helped me the most I'm declaring this the day that I start the grind for carrot fest so stay tuned this is what I made a couple days ago in like one sitting I made like four leggy frogs and four axolotls and I'm just thinking the best way for me to go about this and tricking myself into making the small things that I don't like to make is to every time I have like a different color out for a different project just like whip up a couple of these and then I won't hate my life. <laughs> I just got off live and I just finished making my new keychain patterns. I just finished making them in plush, like giant plush yarn. It's all in plush yarn. I only know plush yarn, but um, Sweet Snuggle is size seven. Um, Parfait XL, that kind of. This, oh my god, this is my favorite. But this is besides the point. I need to be working on stuff for Carrot Fest, and I'm not bringing Halloween stuff to Carrot Fest, so I need to put this aside. Well, actually, first, I need to make TikToks to promote the pattern that's coming out next week, and then I need to make uh, more things for Carrot Fest. <laughs> so I just got these really cute microphones, and I'm gonna see how they work with this video. Um, but yeah, so 4, 4.30 is usually when I end my day or whenever my boyfriend gets home from work. And I'm going to show you what I made today. Two pink axolotls and the head of a purple axolotl. I don't feel like it was pr a productive day because I don't have a lot of like physical items that I finished. But really it was a productive day because I went live. I talked about my new patterns and I posted a TikTok. I created another couple of TikToks to post later on this week. Um, but Aaron's not going to get home until six today. So I think I'm going to cut the day short instead of working up until he gets home. I'm going to cut it short at 4.30. And I'm going to clean up the apartment because I don't know if you guys can see the state of our tiny little basement apartment. It's a disaster. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's the next day. So that is Friday, August the 11th. That is one week and one day away from Carrot Fest and this is what I got done this morning these two purple axolotls from Crochet Grove I forgot to mention that in the previous clip those baby axolotls are from Crochet Grove I use Sweet Snuggles Light and they come out really small and I charge $18 for these and they're a really good profit um, but anyway so my friend from BC is coming to visit uh, she's from like my best friend from high school but she moved out to BC she's coming back so we're gonna hang out this morning with our dogs and go to the park um, but after that when I get back I'm gonna be on like an axolotl grind I think because um, well I want to do a couple of purple and pink leggy frogs because like I said when I have the yarn out for other things I want to just knock out some baby leggy frogs so I'm gonna do that um, but then I need to make the really big axolotls from way crochet um, if you do their axolotls with Sweet Snuggles size 7, they're like massive and I charge $45 for those and I sold out of them last market so I need to make some more. I think I'm gonna like try and focus a lot on like the classics, like some turtles, some jellyfish, some axolotls, 
um, just like play it safe for this market because I know what has sold there in the past. Well, you never really, you can't 100% predict a market, but you can try. I don't usually like to make a bunch of the same thing at once. Like I do, but it's like, then I get really bored of it and it's like, ah, like I'm going to be clipping this video so much because of how many times I've yawned in it. This is why I don't record in the morning. <laughs> so I'm going to go. Uh, my friend's going to be here in about 15 minutes and I will check back in later, probably the end of the day. We'll probably do an end of day check-in so this, this video doesn't become like super, super long. Two days later. Good morning. I'm really unimpressed because I thought I just recorded all of that, but I actually just took a photo of the beginning. So we're going to go over all that again. <laughs> so I made yesterday, I don't know, no, it is now Sunday. It is now Sunday the 13th. I last checked in on Friday the 11th. Um, this is what I made on Friday. I made this one, two, three big axe bottles from Way Crochet. I like the colors together. They're really cute. And then I finished off the two purple axolotls. I'm trying to make a bunch of baby axolotls because they sell really well. And then I also made two purple laggy frog, baby laggy frogs. And then yesterday was a bit of a busy day. I like to spend weekends with uh, Aaron because he's home. Uh, but in the morning, I made six baby leggy frog bodies. So today is the release of my pattern, the keychains. So... I have to do the giveaway, I have to select the giveaway winner um, now, and then I have to finalize the pattern, go over, like, do the edits that my chesters gave me, and then um, the pattern releases tonight. So my goal is, I think, 30 sales would be nice, 50 would be amazing, but on the first day, um, small patterns are kind of harder to, you know, get sales on. Um, so fingers crossed, here's to 30 sales. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Bye. So I think I'm actually going to go and do an inventory count on everything because I didn't really do an inventory count after my last market. So I'm going to go do that. Um, normally I use my spreadsheet, uh, my pricing tool, inventory spreadsheet. It's all kind of one in the same to keep track of inventory, but I have not updated it the past two markets. So I, it kind of needs a refresh. So let's go do that. All right. So I just finished cleaning the room and we went and took Phoebe for a walk. I got a little ready because I'm going to film another YouTube video about what's in these bins. So I'm going to go through, do inventory, um, make sure I have everything, all my quantities proper on my spreadsheet and then tag everything that I have made so far, which is not a lot. So that's what we're going to be doing. Okay. It's really late, but I just thought of making these really cute little can, um, carrot keychains. I just had to show you guys. Look at how freaking tiny they are. I'm gonna come up with the stem tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for the stem. But um, yeah, I wanted something super tiny and that was fast for Carrot Fest. Um, I've already made, I worked on a bunch of these carrots at the park when Aaron was playing with Phoebe. But I just thought I'd hop on and show you guys really quickly. I'm so excited and hopefully I can make like a, bad, a, bleh, a pattern so everybody else can make them too. But I just free handed it so it's a pretty easy pattern. Anyways, hey. Good morning. So today is Monday, August the 14th and Carrot Fest is this Saturday. I feel like I've kind of been neglecting the household duties a little bit which is part of having a small business. Um, so I'm making my grocery list right now. Um, and then today I also have to pack my boyfriend's lunches for the week. And I think I might have to, usually I do the PC Express pickup, but I think I might actually have to go to the store and pick up the groceries in order to make his lunch before the end of the day. I prepped a bunch of carrots yesterday, so I'm going to be hopefully putting eyes and stuffing those today. And hopefully the carrots I can just get done with today. Oh, also I did my inventory for yesterday and it looks like I have, $3,962 in inventory for this market. So I want to have six by the end of the week, maybe five, 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 five fifty. So yeah, we're going to see how that goes. Good morning. So it is Tuesday. Market is Saturday. It is crunch time. I'm not usually a list person when it comes to making plushies. I kind of just make what my heart desires and then go with it. But I have made a list 
of 32 plushies that I want to make before the end of the week. Um, so that's eight per day. And I still have to finish giant Snorlax and finish all the whips that I have in progress. So that's going to be a lot, but we're going to do it. Um, so today I have two jellyfish, two turtles, two baby axolotls, and two carrot keychains, and then finish the Snorlax. So I'll be going live sometime today, I assume, to finish the Snorlax. Uh, I just have to do the feet, so it won't be too bad. And then put eye details on it, but I thrive under pressure. So let's get it. Let's go. It is now two o'clock and I will show you what I've got finished. So I did a Twinkie the Turtle in pink, Twinkie the Turtle in purple, um, a jellyfish, I have to get the name of the, oh, Cora Crochets on Instagram in pink. Then a jellyfish in purple. I want to do like the rainbow of both jellyfish and turtles. Um, yeah, that took a while. That took all morning. And then I started on a little axolotl, but now I'm going to switch gears. I'm going to take a shower, get a little ready, and I'm going to go live and work on some um, carrot keychains that I was demoing out so they're just little babies oh yeah i already showed you guys duh um but yeah i'm hoping i i like this top i think i might just keep this top i don't know we haven't decided on the top yet so i went on live earlier today and i almost finished snorlax i just have to put on his little claws and then embroider a face and i still have to finish that little baby axolotl so currently it is eight o'clock and i have one and a half baby axolotls to do and i want to try and do some little carrot keychains um, but usually after Aaron gets home, it's kind of like a lost cause. I just kind of hang out with him, but we went out to dinner. So, and then the dog park. So I'm a little behind schedule, but I'm going to get it done before bedtime. Okay. So it is now nine o'clock bedtime and I finished two axolotls. This one, no, this one I messed up because I tend to click the little gillies. I should have added another row, but. Anyways, and then I finished four of these little carrots. They all look different because I was still trying to perfect the pattern. Got everything done today that I wanted to get done, so I'm very proud of myself. Tomorrow is a different story, though. I don't know if um, I'll be as strong tomorrow. Good morning! I got this really cute mug last time I was at a market, and it says... There's no such thing as too much yarn. And so today I will be doing pretty much the same thing as yesterday, except I found a green turtle that I was working on for last market that I never finished. It's like almost done. So I don't have to do two turtles today. I can just do one. So I got two jellyfish, two turtles, two axolotls, and two keychains. And then I have a cow from Crochet Grove that I want to do. So that's going to be fun. But yeah, I, I just kind of want to get my desk under control first. As you can see, it's kind of a nightmare uh and the, the couch has like all the yarn on it from yesterday i gotta clean that up i like to start like a new day new couch new work i work area so yeah let's get started reality is i get about two hours in the morning of work until this one won't let me work anymore and insists on going for a walk in that right <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's doing the dishes, so you're gonna have to ignore the background noise, but this is the, I just wanna show you guys the mess that we're dealing with. Like, this is my shirt. Um, it's just a disaster. So I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll do a recap of what I made later. On my list today was to make two jellyfish, one turtle, one cow, two axolotls, and two keychains. So I made, my two jellyfish. I need a yellow. I'm trying to make like a rainbow. Um, a green. Um, and then I made a yellow turtle. And then I found that I actually have a green turtle already almost finished from like last market. So I have to finish that. Um, and then instead of making one big cow, I made these two little cows from Madeline May Crochet. Um, Madeline Mayco, I think, uh, the teeny, teeny cows, um, I liked them. They took about 45 to 50 minutes each to make, so I have to price them, but I don't know, pricing smaller items is hard because, like, this cow is going to cost, like, 30 bucks, 
Whereas like the big crochet grove cows that I sell cost like 50 bucks. So I'm not too sure. I really like them. But anyways, I met my price quota for the day because the crochet grove cow I was going to make was going to be $50 and these two together are $60. So either way, it worked out. Um, and then I made some little keychains. I put the keychains on the carrots. I think I'm only going to do like another maybe five to six of them. I don't want to have too many. Maybe ten. I don't know. Whatever we're feeling. And now I'm just going over inventory and everything to see where we're at for pricing. Right now, currently I'm at $4,589. And I wanted at least five before the show. So I think I'm going to make it. Fingers crossed. Good morning. It is Thursday. Market is Saturday. And this is what we're looking at right now. This is the finished. And then this is the bucket of doom. Eyes that need to be put on. Things that need to be stuffed. Etc. Etc. Um, so today I'm going to my parents' house. My mom's going to help me stuff things and put eyes on, which was very generous of her. Um, normally, she, like, I don't ask for people to help me. And I, I didn't. She offered. Yeah, today... This is what we're looking at. Gotta make stitch eyes and patch them. So my dad has a Cricut, so I'm just gonna bring all my stuff and ma like make my mom make it on the Cricut and then assemble the carrot eyes, put on, put eyes on the carrots, put eyes on the starfish that I have. I have one starfish. <laughs> um, finished leggy frogs, so I have to like put eyes on them, stuff them and sew them together. I think my mom's gonna be the biggest help with the leggy frogs. I'm gonna put the eyes on and then um, she can do the rest. And then to put eyes on the cows and then this is stuff i have to bring and then for me i want to finish a bunch more carrots um i have to assemble the green turtle finish the blue turtle two snails and i already have a blue jellyfish so i think that that is yeah thursday i was supposed to do one more jellyfish so we don't have to do any more jellyfish i guess i could probably start working on those carrots now because i have until 11 so i have three hours until i go to my parents house so i could probably whip out those carrots now Baby, do not, do not eat the plushies. Update, the baby came back, so I am watching her this morning, but Aaron's home today, so he gets to help me with all the market stuff. I do need to get a lot done today. I didn't really record after yesterday because I was just completely burnt out, but um, I have to finish the Snorlax. I'm, I'm looking at him right now. I hope you can see him. All he needs is his little claws and um, his facial features. Um, I have to finish. I stuffed all the carrots last night. I just have to put the green parts on them. I have to glue some eyes on some things. But I'm on. I'm on a good track. I think. Um, I think I definitely hit five thousand. I don't know. Like between like all the like the small carrots and the carrot. I made a lot of carrot keychains yesterday. I want to make even more carrot keychains but I know that I can whip those up fast at the market. So I'm not too, too worried about making more. Uh, same thing with leggy frogs. Everything I can make that's like small, I can make at the market while I'm sitting there. It is Friday um, and I am starting to get to work now. I still have to glue eyes on everything, um, finish up some jellyfish and make a couple of carrots for the pouch of the farmer carrot bunny. But yeah, right now I'm gonna work on felt eyes because it is my most dreaded part of the whole process. So let's put some eyes on. <laughs> so first up is stitch. I made these eyes a bit big, but I think that they're gonna work out okay. I did all of the felt eyes. That was literally like three things I needed felt eyes. The starfish, the two baby cows by Madeline May Co. And then um, Stitch. So now that I have all of those done, I'm going to um, work on finishing up some items like Stitch needs a nose. So I'm gonna go crochet his nose. Um, and then I'm going to crochet some uh, carrots for the pouch of the carrot farmer bunny. Um, 
I have a couple jellyfish that need to be finished up, just like random stuff that needs to be finished up before the end of the day. And then carrots. I gotta do carrots. Yay. All right, the final countdown. Me and my handy dandy helper. That's me. Are gonna be getting shit done. Gotta put together a shelf, gotta pack the car, put tags on items, load the square with the items. Gotta get a pump. Shut up and uh, <laughs> gotta. I have four more carrots, five, four more carrots that need stems on them. Snorlax. Is that it? Got finished Snorlax. And then that's it. Break. Okay, let's go. So I got this idea from Mom Stichetti. It's a um, cube shelf, which is like the ones that you know you put together with the little blocks, but instead you zip tie it and it has like little shelves so when you open it up at the market you zip tie the shelves here and then all you have to do is cut at the like at the end you just cut the zip ties and then you have nice big shelving so i'm excited to see how it works i have two of them for this market good morning it is 5 55 a.m on carrot fest day um we are packed and ready to go almost um awake sort of we have to stop and get coffee. I'm gonna make us some smoothies and I am very nervous. I'm not normally this nervous before, like I'm nervous, but not like this nervous because I think I have a lot of expectations riding on Carrot Fest because it was my best market last year. And you have to go into markets with like your expectations like on the floor um, in order to not be crushed because sometimes it just doesn't go the way it did the year before or the way you hoped. So I'm trying to reel it in. Hey guys, we are set up at Carrot Fest. I'm gonna show you what the booth looks like. Aaron did a lovely job at hanging all my aquatic creatures. I don't think people are gonna listen, but we try. Here's my laborers. Do we get bathroom breaks? No. We got coffee. No bathrooms, no water. I got a bucket of sale items all that need to work. hit the road. Snorlax in all his glory. Oh my god, he looks amazing. Yeah, so we are all set up. 8.20 starts at 9, so we got a lot of time left to kill. Uh, we're gonna probably go shopping. Um, I'm gonna go shopping, because uh, it's crazy, like, all up and down the streets. People kind of start to show up a little early. But I pride myself in being one of the most colorful booths. It is quarter to three, and we've moved some things around, sold a few jellyfish. Keychains are going really well. I've almost sold all of the carrot keychains, almost all the baby carrots. Um, definitely looking more bare. We got rid of a grid wall, got rid of one of the shelves. And yeah, somebody bought Snorlax. I'm so excited. The sale item bucket, I might need to move because nobody's really seeing it. It's kind of just like tucked away. Um, I mean like, the actual wall is like 20 bucks and like nobody's blinking an eye. So, gotta move some stuff around, but overall, pretty good. It's really hot, but we're surviving. Even sold a crochet hook. Wow, so that's what I look like. Oh my. Um, so the tentative total, the tentative total of the day is $3,000.34. That's wrong, the tentative total is $3,034. Um, it was a very busy day, very hot day. Not as hot as last year. Uh, this isn't lipstick. I burnt my lips. I'm sure the rest of my face is burnt under all this makeup. But we did good. Now wait on the road. Go, go get our baby from daycare, Phoebe. Our baby, Phoebe. She's a puppy. Um, not an actual baby, but she's our baby. Look at these cute little earrings they got. They're little carrot earrings. They're so sweet. Um, but yeah, $3,034. Teamwork. <laughs> hey guys. So this is a significant time after Carrot Fest has concluded that I'm recording this. It's currently August 29th. Uh, Carrot Fest was 10 days ago. But I just haven't had the motivation to sit down and like talk numbers. Um, but that's what we're doing today. So this is my spreadsheet in all its glory. 
um, I have this on my website if you guys want to purchase it. Um, you get the video tutorials and written tutorials, and there's a Facebook help page too if you're not very tech savvy. I have a lot of mods on there that can, modulators that can help you guys. Um, but this is what I use for every single market. As you can see down here, it says like all of my markets in the past have been in here. So I sold 134 plushies. I made $3,168. Of that $3,000, uh, 1100 was profit, 1200 was wage, and 770 was cost of supplies. I break it down this way because I like to see the, like, so I charge $50 an hour for my work. So when I make something and it costs, I just realized that I'm recording this with the microphone from my phone, so this probably sounds better. Um, I like to see how much money I can put back into materials. So I made this much back. Like this is how much money I sold in materials. So this is how much money in materials I spent. So I can put that back directly into my crochet bank account. And um, then I can use that to buy more supplies. Same thing with the wage. I pay myself $15 an hour. So um, when I make something, this is all pulled from this section over here so if I so if you see here it took me an hour and three quarters to make this that means that I made twenty six dollars and twenty five cents just in my time and then with the supplies it came out to forty five dollars so if you want to learn more about the spreadsheet I have lots of videos on my TikTok. you can go and scroll and look up spreadsheet videos and they'll be all I'll be there but anyways I won't bore you with the spreadsheet um, even though it's not boring it's it's business saving it's amazing okay so profit is uh, 1100 so I usually put my profit where it like needs to be the most so wage I definitely take into my personal bank account if I found that cost of supplies wasn't very much like I didn't put that much money in with supplies but I need to buy more supplies like I'm out of yarn um, then I will allocate some of the profit to my crochet with bay bank account and then like if there's some months where our bills are really high or Phoebe needs some like vet bill bills or something, then I'll put that over into my personal bank account. You can split it up however you want to, but this just allows you to see all your money. Let's see, impressions on the show, what sold really well. The small carrots, I brought, I brought 16 small carrots. So the carrots were really good. It was carrot fest, so it made sense that the carrots sold. I only made five of the medium-sized big carrots, and then three of them sold. They were $18, which was a little bit of a stretch. Last year I did 15, and they all sold. So maybe 15 is a better price point. Um, I always kind of tried to adjust for inflation, especially inflation of wage and stuff. I sold the rest of my blueberries. The blueberries that I had left over from Blueberry Fest, I sold them. I put the small ones on keychains and I found that that really incentivized people to buy them. I sold all my carrot keychains, my little baby carrot keychains. I've just put that pattern up on my Instagram for free. You can go and check that out. The turtles all sold. All the turtles sold. I was so stinking happy because the turtles and the jellyfish and the baby axolotls were what I grinded on the, like the last week of market prep. I grinded to get every single color of turtle and every single color of jellyfish and every single color of axolotl and they all sold. So I'm so pumped. Crochet Grove, baby axolotl pattern. I sell out every single market. And then the big axolotls from Way Crochets, I sold out of all those too. I sell them for 45 bucks. I sell the baby axolotls for $18 and they all sell, which I think is a pretty high price point, but people pay it. They're really cute. I sold the big Snorlax. I sold Snorlax for $250. That made me very, very happy. Um, I'll put a picture of the lady that bought Snorlax. I freaking love her. She's awesome. She bought um, she bought the Jumbo Hilda the Hippo at my last Carrot Fest. I am very happy with how it went. Last year I made $3,400. This year I made $31. Uh, close to $32, I guess. Morning of the show, I told myself I would be happy if I left with $3,000. And I'm happy. 2000 about $2,100 in inventory I have for the next show so I got a boogie on getting my stuff done my next market is September 30th so one month away and I want to kill it with the small things I'm gonna be determined to make the small things and just do it all um, oh my god this video is seven minutes long okay I'm gonna stop rambling thank you guys so much for joining in on this journey 
I hope you guys really liked it. I hope it was educational. I hope it was helpful for this one person. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to try and post a lot more YouTube content. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And thank you so much. I love you. Bye.